Good afternoon. The country is looking to experts and scientists to help guide us through this pandemic, and a team right here in New Mexico is among them. News 13's Gabrielle Burkhart shows us how epidemiologists from Los Alamos National Laboratory are helping map coronavirus. For more than a decade, LANL scientists have been tracking and forecasting infectious diseases from all over the world. Today, the CDC is using the LANL model for COVID-19 to help keep people safe. It gives us something to expect and something to plan for. And I think that's a, a utility of this model is that folks who are planning for hospitalizations and planning on what to do next have at least something to go on. Carrie Manor is a mathematical epidemiologist who back in January was mainly focused on modeling the spread of infectious diseases like Zika and West Nile virus. Her team is now working around the clock on their COVID-19 model in conjunction with the CDC to provide the best possible projections for the U.S. They're using data from confirmed cases and deaths to forecast when states across the country hit their daily peak. Right now, their model shows a 57% chance New Mexico already saw its daily peak and a 43% chance that peak could come in May. Lanel is one of the few forecasts the CDC is using to create health guidelines. Manor says things like test rates can change their projections as we go. One thing that could happen is if testing really ramps up and we start testing way more people, we could see an increase in confirmed cases, even though maybe the transmission isn't necessarily increasing. Um, and that's something we've thought about with our model. Since most people are still susceptible to COVID-19, Manor says there is a chance for a second outbreak if we go back to business as usual, so she encourages the public to follow health guidelines. Now, every year, about a dozen labs work to forecast the flu season. Last year, the CDC awarded Lanel with the best model, most accurately predicting the virus's timing, peak, and intensity. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Gabby. Now, Lionel plans to put out a global COVID-19 forecast model in the next couple of weeks.